Hello, I'm Peter C. Hayward, and this is Every Easter Egg in a Bug's Life. John Ratzenberg plays P.T. Flea. He also plays a barfly, a reference to his character in Cheers. The hair of the dog, you bit. Outside the Bug Circus is a can of Dr. Catmull's old-fashioned root beer, as originally seen in Toy Story. The bottle of Dragon's Breath was manufactured at 3488 Park Street, Emeryville, California, 94580. While A Bug's Life was being made, Pixar was still mostly based in Point Richmond, but they would later move to 1200 Park Avenue, Emeryville, California, 94608. The collar used as a circus ring belongs to Jenny. The Bug Circus Train is a Casey Jr. cookie box, named after the train from Dumbo. Casey Jr.'s coming down the track, coming down the track with a smoky stack. It was made at the J. Grant Bakery. The box reads, since 1957, John Lasseter's year of birth. The Pizza Planet truck from Toy Story can be seen beside the Bug City. These two bugs are played by the film's directors. Don't look at the light! I can't help it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> One lands beside a bottle of PJ's Pop, named after the director's son, Paul James Lasseter. This shot of Flick entering the Bug City contains most of the Easter eggs in the film. A113 references an animation classroom at the California Institute of the Arts where the directors studied. Beside it is 1195, the Toy Story release date. There's an ad for The Lion King on Broadway, in the same position as it was in Times Square in real life. There's a box of Blades light bulbs. Blades is Sharon Callahan's nickname. There's also a box of Juju's kitty litter. Julie McDonald was the manager on Toy Story who asked everyone to put her in the film. You may remember, she has cooties. Other boxes include Sayers used electronics, Catherine's Patio of Fashion, Tia Shader's Ink, and Dala. And yes, the Finding Nemo character is also a reference to her. The other names are all references to the children of Pixar staff. Liam, Hannah, Jackson, and Daniel were all born during production. Andrew Stanton's kids, Ben and Audrey, and John Lasseter's kid, Joey. The only box I can't connect to a member of staff is Joel's Marshmallows. Leave a comment if you have any idea who this could be referring to. A few boxes in the Bug City have strings of numbers that also happen to be dates. The 2nd of May, 1963, the 14th of November, 1992, the 11th of October, 1996. The first date looks like the birthday of someone on crew, and the last two are perfectly timed to be staff children, but I can't find any indication of who they belong to. Again, leave me a comment if you have any idea. There's a Pizza Planet cup on the top of the bug bar, as well as a can of Bennett's, a reference to another of John Lasseter's sons. The table at the bar is lit of Sam's Maraccino Cherries, a reference to the last of John Lasseter's kids. The bar itself is a can of Rivera's Low-Fat Lard. Behind it is a Bobco box. Boy, these folks are sure hard up for entertainment. Is a quote from The Three Amigos, a Randy Newman film about a group of entertainers who are mistaken for heroes. They're really starved for entertainment around here. Manny the Mantis is voiced by Jonathan Harris, who played Dr. Smith in Lost in Space. His chest colouring is a reference to the character's costume, and Dr. Smith's catchphrase was... Oh, the pain. If you want to be generous, you can say there are some hidden Mickeys in the scene where the rain is falling on the water, but any time you have a bunch of circles, you're gonna end up with something that looks vaguely Mickey-like. To infinity and beyond! Is a Buzz Lightyear quote. Lastly, if you look incredibly closely during the extended bloopers, you can spot Woody from Toy Story. Bit of a short one, uh, Bugs Life is fairly bereft of easter eggs, so here are some little fun facts about the film. P.T. Flea is of course named after P.T. Barnum. Thumper is named for the Bambi character, John Lasseter's all-time favourite animated character. The Cookie Box is a reference to Casey Jr, who in turn is a reference to Casey Jones, a famous railway engineer who died in a train crash. He was the subject of a lot of TV, movies and a well-known folk ballad. Casey Jones, I mounted to the cabin. Casey Jones, with his orders in his hand. Casey Jones mounted to the cabin and he took his farewell trip to that promised land. The Casey Jr. cookie box has a recommended daily intake of 8,000 calories. <laughs> Each serving is only 56 grams, but somehow manages to contain 92 grams of protein, 28 grams of fat, 59 grams of cholesterol, and 12 grams of carbs, which in turn includes 45 grams of sugar. As the box says, now with more sugar. Meanwhile, each 30 gram serving of Jackson's Jumbo Pretzels, now with more salt, contains 800 grams of fat, 110 grams of sodium, and over 5,000 grams of total salts. <laughs> Pretty good for only 145 calories. <laughs>
The nutritional information for the low fat lard is too low resolution to read, but I would love to know what those stats are. The entrance to the bug bar is a tin of smork, the velvety luncheon loaf. Hopper is getting a massage on a bullet. I don't know anything about bullets, but it's a 62 to 64 caliber RD. If that means anything to you, uh, let me know. And I want to end this video with a question. How does Flix contraption work? Like, what is powering it? Leave your best theories in the comments. That is everything. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and check out my Patreon. I'll be back next time with every single Easter egg in Toy Story 2. Peter out.